Hi there! Today we have the newly launched Colorfit Icon Buds, Noise's first Bluetooth calling smartwatch. Well, they are the right. And we have three units of different colors. We have white, we have black and we have olive green. I'll show you all these watches closely so you can decide which one is perfect for you. Now this is a phone calling watch and Noise has priced this at just 3499 But here's the best part. I'll be sharing a coupon code towards the end of this video which will get you a further 8% discount bringing the price down to just 3219 rupees. That's just amazing. I'm so excited. So let's quickly unbox it, we'll review it, we'll see that phone call experience. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for more fun content like this. Also follow me on my social media handles for more tech info. Alright, let's begin. And here are three units of the Colorfit Icon Buzz. Towards the left is silver and grey, jet black in the center and olive gold on the right. We'll have a quick look at the packaging, image of the watch on the front. Towards the back you can see some of its features, 1.69 inch touch display, calling function, 7 day battery life, blood oxygen monitor, 24 by 7 heart rate monitoring and multi-sports mode. QR code for the companion app and towards the bottom are the manufacturing details and the MRP which is 4999. Alright, let's quickly open all of them. Alright, right on the top is some paperwork, register for warranty, the watch itself, a magnetic charging cable, everyone's favorite noise stickers and a user manual. Now I'm not going to take you through all the unboxings as the contents are exactly the same. A watch, a charging cable, noise stickers and a user manual. And finally we've unboxed all of them, we'll have a closer look at it starting with the grey one. Let's get rid of the screen protector. All right. Wow, that looks really nice. Very well built and special mention to the metal frame. Matte finish looks really nice and premium. On the other side, you can see there's a single button with the noise logo on it. Silicon straps, very well made, good quality. Buckle design and also like to mention that the buckle is color coordinated with the case color, which looks really, really nice. You can see there's a noise branding on the loop. Moving towards the back, the back is made of plastic and it has the heart rate sensor, the SPO2 sensor and the charging terminals below here. There's a speaker here, there's a microphone here for phone calls which is great. Also if you look closely it mentions IP67 rating, Bluetooth 5.1, SPO2 sensor, some more details. Now the straps can be changed with other third party straps as well as you can buy straps from the noise website. There's a leather strap, there's a metal strap, there's a loop strap. Tons of options there, just pull the hook to release, really really simple. I'll leave the links for the straps below in the description, you should definitely check it out. Alright, we'll have a quick look at the other ones as well. Oh my god, wow. The black looks really nice, so well built, matte finish, so no fingerprints, no smudges which looks really nice, very very well built. I'd especially like to mention the build quality is commendable. Here's a quick look at olive green and gold. Wow, I think this one is going to be my favorite. Very nice, looks so premium. The build quality is fantastic. Check out the buckle, also color coordinated with the case color, amazing. So overall I can say all three colors look nice. Of course, choice of color is always very subjective. Someone likes black, someone likes grays. I would prefer the green and gold. It looks different, kind of stands out for me. All right, let's quickly pair it. Now you take your Android or iPhone and you go to the Google Play Store or the App Store and you download Noise Fit Track app. Now once you're here, come to Add Device, take the watch, press the button on the side. There'll be a vibration alert with the Noise logo and here you can see Icon Buzz name is showing up. Click and pairing done. Wow, that was really, really fast. Now it says pair your Icon Buzz phone via your mobile Bluetooth settings to use it for phone calling function. So you go into settings. Icon Buzz phone, click. Only if you do this pairing process will you be able to make and receive phone calls on your watch. And we're done. All right, let's have a quick look at the display. So you press the button on the side to wake the display. Press it again to turn it off, fairly simple. Now this is a 1.69 inch TFT LCD display with a resolution of 240 by 280 pixels. 
Now, even though this is an LCD display, the color reproduction is pretty good. Blacks are deep. Also, the display goes almost edge to edge. Check out the battery icon here and the heart icon here, almost edge to edge. Now, one thing worth mentioning, the display already comes with a plastic screen protector. I'm not sure if it can be seen, but it also comes with a protection, so which is good, so it should prevent it from further scratches or any damage. You can remove the film, but I would recommend you keep it on. It's always better. Now let's have a quick look at the interface. Swipe from top to access your missed call alerts and notifications. Swipe from down to access quick toggles. Do not disturb. This is for brightness. You press it again. The display gets brighter. You can choose as per your preference. Find my phone. Settings. In settings, you can see dial. Dial is for pre-installed watch faces. There are a couple that come pre-installed. Wow, that looks fantastic. Really, really nice. Further back in settings, brightness, about, power off, reset and restart. Now coming back to the home page, swipe right, you can access the steps taken, sleep tracking, heart rate tracking, SPO2, the weather, swipe right to access the menu. The first thing is the noise suite. Now this houses the activity, heart rate tracking, sleep tracking, blood oxygen level, Further, then you have the sports modes. We'll have a look at it in just a moment. Then you have messages where you can see all your notifications. Noise buzz is to make phone calls, recent calls, dial pad, contacts. We'll come back to it in just a moment. Further, you have the weather, the camera app, music app, stopwatch. Then you have alarms, timer, app, find phone. Then you have the breathe app, you have the settings app. You have games, yes, there are games. So we get two games on the watch, Floppy Bird and Hamster. Here's Floppy Bird. So I thought it would be impossible to play a game on a watch small display, but this was actually really fun. Here's Hamster. Now one thing to remember is that if you're gonna play games on a watch, the battery would drain faster. Then you have AI voice, which basically will enable the voice assistant on your phone. Let's check it out. The AI voice app basically just triggers the voice system on your phone. However, I wish it worked directly on your watch because now I have to go all the way to the AI voice app and then ask it a question and eventually reach out to my phone to see the reply, which makes no sense at all. I'd rather just pick up my phone and ask the question. In fact, both Siri and Google Assistant can be enabled on your phone just by my voice and that would be a lot faster and easier. Anyway, so overall the interface is good. However, I think that the previous Noise Caliber had a little better interface, but it's overall easy to use and really smooth. The watch comes with IP67 rating, so it's protected from dust, mild splashes, rain and sweat. You can wear it for a run or at the gym without worrying about any liquid damage. However, it's not recommended you wear it in the pool or while taking a shower. Alright, let's check out call alerts. We go into the noise buzz, recent call, dial pad, contacts, we're going to dial pad and We'll just randomly dial a number and we'll press dial. There you go. Now right now the voice you're hearing is actually from the speaker on the watch. I think it's really really clear. Now you have an option to send the call to the phone if you want to and you can even disconnect directly from here. Similarly you also receive calls and you can answer them directly. Right now the ringtone you're hearing is actually from the watch speaker. So you can end the call, you can answer the call, you can even control the speaker. I'm answering the call. And you can actually end the call from here, talk directly using your watch. And of course, you can even send the call to your phone, which is even more convenient if you don't want to talk on your watch. We also receive incoming alerts. You can see from which app the message is being sent. You can read the message. However, there is no option to reply to it. All right, so let's talk about the phone call experience. So I used it to make and answer phone calls. And let me tell you that the call quality was very impressive. The speaker was loud, the mic was responsive. The opposite person probably didn't even know that I was using my watch to talk to him. In fact, I never even needed to bring the watch closer to hear or talk. Just talk while working on my laptop and it worked great. Then outdoors I could hear the person but the opposite person said that there was just too much ambient sound. Basically this watch is great for indoor phone calls but stick to quick short calls outdoors. So the watch also comes with 24 by 7 heart rate tracking. Let's quickly check it out. Meanwhile we'll check it out with an oximeter as well. So we have around 82 beats per minute, 82, wow! Very, very close. Let's also check out the SPO2. We got 99 on the O2 meter. 
and we got 99 on the watch as well. So the sensors seem to be quite accurate. However, I always say use this just for reference and not for medical purpose. All right, let's talk about workouts. So the watch comes with nine sports modes, starting with running, walking, cycling, hiking, climbing, treadmill, spinning, yoga, and fitness. I would have loved to see swimming, but sadly you can't use this watch while swimming. If you turn on running, there's a countdown and you can see the time, you can see the distance, you can see the steps taken, you can see the calories burned and your heart rate. If you move on this side, you can pause your workout or you can end your workout. So I also voted for an outdoor workout to check for accuracy. Firstly, the display was bright and very clear. And the best part is that the tracking was also quite accurate. Now, let's have a quick glance at the NoiseFit Track Companion app. Now on the home page, first thing you can see are the steps you have taken. If you click on it, it will actually give you a lot more in detail. Then if you go down, you can see your sleep tracking, heart rate, blood oxygen levels, outdoor running workouts. If you come to the second option, you can see the icon buzz, battery percentage, watch faces. First, you can see the five watch faces that come pre-installed. If you come into more watch faces, there'll be a huge list. Oh my God. Wow, that looks amazing. There's a huge list of watch faces. Check that out. My God, that's a never ending list. And some really, really good looking ones. Let's just put this for fun. And there you go. So really nice watch faces. Lot of options here available. Coming back, you can see notifications. You can choose from which apps you want notifications and from which apps you don't. Alarms, you can set alarms directly from the app. Shutter is for camera shutter. Favorite contacts, you can save here so that you can quickly make some calls. Others, you can see your time format, unit system, do not disturb, continuous heart rate tracking, turn it on or off, control music from your phone, scream timeout, reset, quick view, weather. And if you come in here, you can set your profile, you can set goals and about. The app is good, but I cannot see any option where you can share your data with Strava or Google Fit. Apart from that, I think it's a pretty complete and easy to use interface. Coming to the battery. Well, noise claims five to seven days with typical use and just two days with phone calling feature. Frankly, I would have loved to see some better numbers here, but that's the best you're gonna get with most watches that come with phone calling feature. So I think it's pretty good. Also, it takes just about an hour to charge the watch from zero to 100, which is really, really good. Now, before I conclude, I need to talk about some of its cons and there are a few. Firstly, the watch lacks a stress app, a body temperature app, and a menstrual cycle tracking app. All of which, by the way, were there on Noise Caliber, which is kind of surprising because that watch costs just 2,799. Then second, there's no option to reply with a preset SMS, which also we had on the Caliber. And finally, limited workout modes. In fact, just nine. I wish it had more, but the good thing is that it's accurate and pretty reliable. Now I'm thinking Noise is placing the icon buzz primarily as a phone calling watch. And let me assure you that it does a great job at that. It also comes with a 1.69 inch DFT display, heart rate tracking, SPO2 tracking, and even two games. And I think it's really cool. So if you want a good phone calling watch, then the Colorfit Icon Buzz is a great option to consider. You can buy this tomorrow, 2nd February at 2 p.m. on Amazon and the Noise website for just 3,499. But if you go to the Noise website and use the coupon code NXSING8, you can get it for just 3,290. Now this is just an introductory price for a few days. After that, the price will go up to 4,000 rupees. So I'd say grab your unit right away. I'll leave the links and the coupon code info in the description. If you like to buy one, you should definitely check it out. So I hope this video was helpful. If there are any questions, mention them down in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, cheers.